Hello, I'm Rachel from Dwenser Garden in Ireland and today I want to tell you about three beautiful little Irish native orchids. So these are wildflowers, sweet little things that people often confuse. But in today's video I'm going to tell you just a little trick to be able to tell them apart. So let's see those orchids. You are very welcome to this video about native Irish orchids, three of them to be precise. And it's gonna be a really short video with just a little hint I have for being able to tell them apart. And I guess the place to start is with the Dactylorhiza. And if you travel to certain places in Ireland, over in the West, the Burren, or down in Kerry where I am at the moment, you'll come across in early June, purple pyramid-like flowers along the sides of the roads, at the edges of the woods, any place where it's very wet and moist because these are orchids that really, really like the wet and they are often very happy with their feet standing in water. Now here you can see along this roadside in Kerry how there's a water drill just going along the side of the road and these orchids are dotted very nearby, very happy with these kind of conditions. And these purple dactylorhiza really are very pretty little things. If you look closely, you can see why they are orchids. From a distance, they just look very much like a spire of something that you might find in well, in, in any garden really. But if you look closely, you can see how the individual flowers are orchid shaped. And this, of course, is a terrestrial orchid. Now, I don't pretend to know which species this purple one is exactly, but it's a sweet little thing. And in the cottage where I stay on my holiday, it's dotted all around the back of the cottage and in the hedgerows on the street. So very, very nice little thing. So this is a Dactylorhiza. And now I'm going to show you a different Dactylorhiza, which is a pink form. Perhaps it's Fuscii, I'm not quite sure. But this pink form of the Dactylorhiza seems to have a smaller flower head, a more pinkish colour, but just as pretty little flowers. And these ones we're looking at here were spotted in the Killarney National Park at the edge of woodlands and on limestone and that is where very many orchids tend to grow. So again this is Dactylorhiza and it grows in wet boggy conditions. And finally, the third orchid I want to show you today <laughs> is found in a completely different environment. So now we're on the sand dunes down at the beach in Kerry. And if we travel here behind in among the grasses where it's very, very well drained with lots and lots of sand and very inhospitable conditions, you'd think. But here we see another orchid that really looks very like the Dactylorhiza we've just been looking at. But this isn't a Dactylorhiza at all. It's got a completely different genus name. And this is in fact Anacomptus. 
And if I put my hand in here, you can see how big that flower head is. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Worthy of any garden, really much bigger than the other ones that we've looked at. Now, there are hundreds of different species of Anacomptus, so I will not proffer any opinion as to what species this might be, but what I can tell you is that it's really, really beautiful. And here we come to the crux of the matter. Anacomptus, although it looks very like Dactylorhiza, grows in a completely different environment. So Anacomptus likes dry conditions and Dactylorhiza likes wet conditions. Wet conditions for Dactylorhiza, dry conditions for Anacamptus. So if you find something growing in sand, it's not a Dactylorhiza. And if you find something growing in wet, boggy conditions, it's definitely not an Anacamptus. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Certainly many people get these two confused and they don't realise that actually Anacamptus exists and they believe that Dactylorhiza is the genus for the all of these orchids when in fact there is a sneaky Anacamptus in there to be considered as well. Okay, I hope you found this video useful and I'm just going to sneak in here a couple of little clips of other wildflowers I found while trooping through the Killarney National Park or across the sand dunes. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!